This video is sponsored by Squarespace. So I recently got invited to a venue showcase, which hands down is one of the top things any photographer could ever hope for. But on top of that, I'm going to be the only photographer there. Now, this is a huge deal. If you've ever done a venue showcase, this is basically where the venue is trying to show off its space and has couples come into the space and generally it'll have some of its favorite vendors in the space as well while these couples come. So this is a great way for marketing and just really getting everything together. So I'm super hyped that I'm going to be doing it. But on top of that, we're going to be doing a styled shoot at the venue showcase. And I'm sure you're asking yourself, John, how can I get myself opportunities like this? How can I even handle a venue showcase or an expo? Because I haven't done any. So while I'm on my way out, let's go ahead and talk about steps that you can take to get yourself into venue showcases and some best practices while you're there as well. So one of the first things y'all need to be doing and making sure you're doing it all the time is treating your vendors well. This hands down goes the furthest than anything else you could do. Like in all seriousness, any wedding you do, no matter how how end it is or not, you need to be treating all your vendors extremely well. Make sure you're treating them well, showing them a great time at the wedding, even if they're not the best vendor in the world. Make sure that they're getting photos. This is probably the biggest one. When you deliver your photos, make sure you're getting those photos actually to the vendors so that they can use them. These are the type of things that are gonna keep you top of mind at all time. And when a venue is trying to have a showcase, they're gonna think of you and be like, oh yeah, that photographer was totally awesome. I wanna work with them again. I'm gonna have them at the venue showcase. And keep in mind that venue showcases go much further than a wedding expo would. With a wedding expo, you're basically paying to be there and there's a whole bunch of other vendors that you're going to be dealing with. But when you're at an actual showcase, that's just you pretty much with the venue itself. Now, there can be some other photographers there. This time it's only me, so that's a huge win. But aside from that, like being in the intimate space of the venue with the couples who actually want to be at that venue goes a long way. The second thing you can make sure you're doing is spending a lot of time online, documenting what you're doing, and making your social media pop. Now, I know y'all already know about this, but really, tag your venues and all the photos that you have of them, tag your photos, tag everything you can to really get the venue's name out there. Go and leave reviews for the venues online, on Google, on their website, and get to know the staff. Let them know that you absolutely love their venue and you're doing the most to really show the venue in its best light. Again, when you're shooting a wedding and let's say you're shooting for the couple, but you wanna get some stuff for you as well that you can also use for other things. So make sure you're getting shots of just the venue, of all the details and things of that sort that you can actually use and give to the venue. And just be like, hey, I saw your website doesn't have too many photos. I wanted to give you all some to see if it would help you out or anything of that sort. So I highly recommend staying up on your social media, making sure all of it looks great at all times and always hitting up the venues with extra photos and just reviews. Just basically shower them with love so that they know who you are. That actually goes into the third thing, which is basically just getting known in your area. Now, this one is a little bit harder, but if you're doing really dope styled shoots that are getting published, if you are on social media all the time, if you go to free events and things that maybe there was not a real point for you to go to, but you go just to get known, like venue showcases that you're not a part of or a venue grand opening, be out there and get your face in front of people in venues. They wanna see who you are and what you're doing and really like you just need to be out and about. So remember my story is that I was starting my business in New York and I moved back to North Carolina. While I am a native here, I had been gone for like 15 years at least. So I don't know the area at all. No one knows me as a photographer. The first thing I started doing was styled shoots. I had a styled shoot open up for me. I did multiple styled shoots when I first got here, honestly. Um, one at a newer venue in Cary, which is right beside Raleigh. And I did one out in the beach and in the mountains. And I just put myself out there to do these things. And what happened is more venues, more planners, people started knowing me. So when things come up, I'm usually asked to do it pretty often. That's how this came up. Um, this venue basically just hit me up and was like, hey, our planner really loves you and they would love for you to do this shoot. We're going to be doing a style shoot and a vendor showcase. And I was like, 
word, I'm in there. Um, and I was like, oh yeah, who else is going to be coming? They're like, you're the only photographer. I was like, so good. <laughs> Cause that doesn't come up all the time. So really get yourself out there, make sure you're getting in front of people and getting known in your area. It makes a huge difference. Also your whip presence matters in this, which goes into this video sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is an online platform where you can quickly and easily build your website and online presence. And hands down, this is one of the most important things you can do for your business. I've personally been using Squarespace for over eight years now, and I absolutely love the website. I actually have two websites now, my main personal one and one for the Natural Fills preset, which is the editing preset that I personally use on all of my photos. Now, you can easily go choose a template build yourself a website and show off your portfolio. But also, if you're trying to sell products, their commerce features are absolutely amazing. And that's basically the difference between both of my websites. I have my main website where I'm mainly showing off my portfolio, and then I have the Natural Fields preset where I actually sell the preset. And this is all through Squarespace. On top of those great features as well, you have analytics to keep in touch with your sales and who's visiting your website amazing customer service whenever you need help with anything on your website and you can even do member pages so people can join onto your website and get more content that way make sure to check out the link in the description below for 10 percent off of your first website or domain and make sure you build your online presence so you can get into venue showcases but yeah i'm making my way to the venue now um we're starting a little early because again we're doing a style shoot i have a bridegroom model so we'll see how they do. My girl Jess, who y'all have seen in other videos, she's going to be the bride. And I'm working with a new male model today, which supposedly he's mad tall. This bro is like 6'5", so <laughs> it should be interesting. Luckily, Jess is pretty tall too. And yeah, I'm going to be taking shots of the venue itself, shots of the couple together. And then after we're done with the styled shoot portion is the actual showcase where couples are going to come to the venue and hang out. I have a monitor and I made a little slideshow. I have some postcards, which hopefully will get here because Moo took too long to print them because I ordered them a little late. So it's kind of on both of us. Um, we'll see if they come. I have business cards and yeah, it should be a good time. If you haven't done venue showcases, I'll talk about that a little bit more later about some of the best practices. Oh man, yo, it's hot. And I'm over here with a whole <laughs> small rig set up for vlogging, but we doing it. so. I'm here at the venue, finally making it over to the cookery in Durham. One of my favorite venues, it's like exposed brick, it looks great. Let's take a quick tour around, see what we can find. So we have our main area here, where I'm basically gonna be having little vendor table setups. Y'all can see kind of in the back there, there's some vendor table setups, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna be doing a style shoot as well as also having people just come and hang out. So the space is looking, it's looking really good actually. We got all the vendors you could think of, florist, DJ, cake, makeup, got some models. We also have another space over this way. Actually, you know what? Let me take y'all back here first. So in the back, they have a tent. And over here, they're gonna pretty much have like a whole table set up. This is where all the details and everything is going to be at. Okay. So they're going to have people hanging out over here, which what's nice is my little booth is going to be back here, kind of like right behind me. So when people are coming through here and checking out this area, they'll be able to see me as well. Again, I'm the only photographer, so it will work out in that way. Ooh. This thing's heavy, yo. <laughs> I need a better vlog instead. I'm about to go grab the, uh, what's that, the XS20? That way I can actually vlog. <laughs> so then they have another area that comes out this way. So we have an outdoor space here, which I think they're still setting up and it's hot. So I'd be surprised if anyone's in there at all. And then this is where the ceremony area is going to be. So usually at this venue, they don't have it set up like this where the ceremony is in here. So it's actually pretty dope. Oh, yeah. I love how the 
the windows in the back there. It's gonna be so good, y'all. There's an upstairs area. You know, I'm excited. They got this, uh, they do the chalkboard. So yeah, it's gonna look good. So for the shoot, not only am I gonna be capturing the couple, but I'm also gonna be shooting the venue. So because of this, I brought out my GFX 100S. I'll be rocking two of them. I have the 23 F4, which I've never used, but it seems like a great lens. I wanted something wider. I think full frame equivalent, that's like a 18 mil, somewhere in that range. I also have my 45 F 2.8 and my absolute favorite, the 81.7. So yeah, let's go ahead and get right into the shoot. Um, I rented the 23 f4 so the wideness is lights but that f4 is not it's not my friend <laughs> Oh yeah, this 23, yo, so good. So at this point in the day, I was trying to focus on all the details I could hit before I was actually starting with my couple. Since they were still trying to get ready, this gave me some time to hit whatever was ready. However, they were still putting everything together, so I kind of just shot what I could where I could. Yeah, I don't know if all this stuff is done yet. They also probably want stuff with um the candles lit. Yeah. Uh, I'll wait before I plug it. That's what I was thinking too. Like I don't know how much I really want to shoot. I'm about to break my drone out real quick. No. This thing is just not focusing. Whenever I'm using the GFX 100S, the 81.7 is probably hands down my favorite lens to use. Now, as you all heard, I did rent the 23 F4, which was an amazing lens. I just wish it was a little bit faster, but the 81.7 is basically for all of my detail shots. Anything I need close up where I'm focusing on something, I just wanna blow out the background, the 81.7 is always gonna take care of that. Since I am capturing the whole venue as well, I decided to bring out my drone. I have an Air 2S, been highly thinking about upgrading to the Air 3, but I wanted to get them a little bit of venue video coverage. Y'all let me know if you see like a big truck or anything. You know, when you get a good motion. <laughs> I hate droning so much, y'all. Yeah, I don't know. It's so stressful, yo. <laughs> the first time I crashed because I was scared because there were airplanes in the area. 
and I wasn't really over a tree. I thought I was, but I was worried about my height. Flew right into that tree, bro. <laughs> Cool. I probably should have got some pictures too. Now that the bride's hair and makeup is done, we can start focusing on photos of her. So now we're gonna do some getting ready shots before we actually get the couple together. Scoot out just a, just a little bit the other way. Right there, sorry. So some of the biggest things you wanna concentrate on while you're doing a style shoot is not only shooting it like a real wedding for yourself, but make sure to give direction where it's needed, more so than you would on an actual wedding day. Also, all the vendors got together to put their time together to get this one vision to look as well as it does. So make sure you're taking photos that they can take as well. Take shots that they can use on their website, things that they can use for their own promotion, just anything to help your vendors out. All right, Jess and Dakota, if I can get y'all over here closer to this wall. And I think, let's do a, um, let's do a chest to chest, so. Jess, you'll be facing the wall. Dakota, you're gonna have your back on the wall. And yeah, right there is perfect. And y'all will be chest to chest. We'll keep everything as PG as possible. So you'll wanna, you'll wanna nuzzle right up in there with him. Cause I, I'm gonna be over here to the right. I'm just trying to move in there. Yeah, so his back is on the wall and then y'all be chest to chest like you were hugging. But I'm, I'm gonna be over here. So you'll wanna turn over. Yeah, 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 yeah. Turn. So Dakota back on the wall, and then you'll be chest to chest with him. No, 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 no. Like, like, chest to chest. You'll be looking over this way. There you go. Sorry. Okay, my bad. You're good. That's perfect. Um, we'll have to wait for a moment. But yeah, this is exactly what I wanted. Let me. Ben, do you mind helping them with, or either even just scoot the dresses back closer to the edge of the door? Dakota, throw that hand in your pocket. Yeah, generally if a hand's not like on a hip area, straighten the pocket. I'm shooting fairly slow shutter too, so not a lot of movement on your end. Y'all look at me to start out. Just lay your head on his uh, chest. Just like that, that's perfect. Awesome. Um, Jess, come up, Dakota, step out real quick. Oh yeah, I, I love this, this is my favorite shot. Yeah, especially, I was, I was shooting wide, so you get that like, oh yeah. Um, Step out just a tiny bit. No, I'm just straightening up the dress. You're doing great. That's beautiful. Hold that for me. Um, face me directly on. Kind of very classic. Yep, show uh, elbows in just a bit, yeah. Look over to your left. Beautiful. Turn your head almost fully like you're trying to look out of this. Keep your bouquet right there.
take it and almost kind of point it out at me just a little bit. Perfect. Look down at your bouquet, give it a nice big smile. There it is, beautiful. Turn towards the window, bouquet down on your side. If you can get that leg, because I know it's the other leg, just a little bit. Yeah, I'm mainly gonna be shooting. Turn the bouquet so I can see more of it. I'm gonna shoot the bouquet mainly. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, feel free to just jump in and whenever. Oh no, this is the flowers. <laughs> I want a little bit more, not really attitude, but just like, give me some fierceness. Yeah, power power's the perfect word, actually. I'm about to, though. That pose is perfect. Here we go. Dakota, come jump into this shot. You'll stay just how you are. You're gonna be like kind of on the side of the, like just chilling in the back, posted up. Yep, you can come up just a bit. Yep, throw that hand in your pocket. And you will be looking kind of over just like that. Try and turn in towards me just a bit. There it is. Mm -hmm. Dakota, look over your shoulder a bit more. There it is. There it is. Okay, so stay, stay right there, Jess. I'm just gonna take like a dramatic kind of wide shot. Um, so for this one, drop the bouquet. I'll take it. And then just make sure your slit's not out of control. <laughs> and basically I'm gonna have like you like, almost like leaning forward into the camera. But I'm gonna be, I'm shooting wide, so it's gonna make the shot kinda like, yeah, so almost like you're leaning in, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is, hold that for me. So let's start out first, almost like slow dancing. It's kind of close and tight. We'll do a couple spins and then that, that should be good. We're gonna do it two times so that pressing can get a little bit as well. Um, yeah. Yeah, so start out slow dance, kind of like tight, arms up. Yep. Just lay your head on his shoulder and look over my direction. So, yep, yep. Okay, let's switch it up to a couple of spins and things. And y'all can just even just be over here kind of practicing it. Just make sure you throw some smiles in there whenever you're actually spinning. Oh, let me let me shoot this. I'm gonna have y'all move for a second. I'm gonna try and shoot this way a little bit more so I can get that like depth. Um, so slow dance for five seconds and then go back into some spins. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just gonna... Okay. Yeah, it was just, it's just bunched up.
That's perfect. Hold, yeah, if you can keep holding it, just one more second. Perfect, y'all. Thank you. So y'all go ahead and stand up at the front there. Um, you, yeah, flip. Mm -hmm. Trying to think of my extensive years of weddings. Um, just take a step back. So to my left, right there. And then you walk into her just a bit right there. I'm just going to get a couple shots of y'all holding hands. Go ahead and button um, your jacket just so I don't have it like flying out of the front. Yeah. But yeah, y'all just hang out there like that. Throw some laughs in there occasionally. So whenever you're faking a ceremony, make sure to think about the main shots that you would be taking normally. Generally, I like to take a nice wide shot. I like to take some closer shots of the couple. I like to take some photos of their hands. And then whenever they're doing their vows, I'll switch each side to get both bride and groom while either or is speaking as well. So generally that's my approach here because you know, technically it's a styled shoot. We're just kind of standing there, but I want to shoot it the same way it would be if it were a real ceremony. Big laugh, Jess. That's perfect, that's good, y'all. Um, let's set this shot back up on the couch. Dakota, you can chill for a second. Oh yeah, so yeah, we get some shots here. We need to get a shot in this little area. Maybe we can get a shot with a sign out front. Maybe we can get a toasting shot with some drinks. I wanna get some more of these lights. Yeah, I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit as much as I can as quickly as possible. I might grab, I should have grabbed my lights too. I'm pretty sure I can trickle that, right? Is it set already? What, uh... It's on channel B. I mean, uh, group B. On channel, uh, channel 5. Channel 5, group B. I, I love Godox so much, yo. You just show up, people are like, what you shooting? I got the thing, yeah! <laughs> Everybody shoot off the same slash. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go back to those wide shots again. I think you can, you could probably do it from here. I think it'll reach. I'm also, I'm gonna be flashing off of mine here in the front. I'm not gonna be as wide as I was at first. I was like, I was all the way wide. Wow, that thing's strong. Oh, how did that happen? Oh, because I turned on my... Yeah, that's more of what I wanted. I like to still shoot it like it's natural light. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna move this back some. Oh, yeah. The top is fine, right? We might have to move the table for one too, actually. Bring it back this way. I'll let you get a shot. Oh, actually, can you? That backlight is. Same thing with them at the hall. Yeah, the altar works out for me. It's like enough half and half light. Oh yeah, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, so good. Let me get a couple more real quick. That's awesome. Thank you, Preston. Um. Dakota jumping. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have y'all standing because these, oh, you know what? We need a shot with the, um, with the sign. Cause yeah, I'm coming up on the end of my time. I'm trying to get y'all out of here. So Dakota, I'm gonna have you and Jess over here with your champagnes kind of on the side. Um, you just can be kind of here in the side with the sign. 
Um, and then Dakota, come hang out over here with her. Even you can um, try not to put your back on it. Sure. But yeah, it kind of scoot in right there. So y'all take that pose and turn it some so I can see Dakota a little bit better and then scoot out just a bit and then step towards me the tiniest bit <laughs> right there. Uh, Dakota, try and come up some more. You're getting blocked just a little. There it is, perfect. And then yeah, scoot out some more so I can see more of the sign. So over here to your right, I believe. Keep going. Right there. Big smiles. Toast it up. Beautiful. Okay, let's finish this up. I want to get a shot out in this little spot, which is like iconic for the cookery. Kind of bear hug over the top. And then Jess, you can drop one hand with the flowers and then the other hand will come up on his arms. Yeah, that's perfect. Beautiful. We're just gonna go, yeah, just right out here. Oh, do you, do you wanna hold that? We're just gonna go over to the front. All right, so Dakota, you're perfect. Jess, you're gonna kind of come, it's almost almost like a dip. I don't totally want a dip, but just like a like, yeah, the cookery. Yeah, exactly. So you'll, you'll do that, but basically come up next to him, like one hand on his shoulder and like exact that, almost like extra campy with it. It's like, yeah. <laughs> Cause again, that stuff translates better for photo video. It's like, what are you doing? Let me, let me not stand in front of. Here we go, three, two, one. That's perfect, let me get another one of those. And three, two, one. Awesome, cute. Perfect. Um, maybe, oh yeah, that looks good. I wonder if I can get it here. Under the light, maybe? No, I don't like that. So actually, let's set it up. See if we can come over this way. So the venue wanted me to also highlight the fact that they had a bar on site and they had their own drinks that they like to make. So they made a bunch of drinks for me to take photos of. So now my approach on this was to use loom cubes. Now, technically right now I'm using whatever my assistant had. I don't know what kind of lights those were, but you all know I absolutely love the loom cube. If you haven't seen my video on sparkler exits, definitely make sure to check that out. So basically I'm using these lights as kind of cross lights on the back to give some kind of edge lighting to the actual glass itself. And I do really end up liking how it looks. I'm shooting everything with the 81.7 so I can get a nice blown out background, but then nice and sharp on the glass itself. So this did end up taking a fair amount of time because we wanted to take shots of every single glass. Basically I'm taking a horizontal and a vertical photo of each drink to make sure that I have different options for them. For the most part I want to keep the shots almost exactly the same just so they can use it wherever and then also give some space because with the GFX 100S and the 102 megapixels they should be able to crop this any way that they need.
After we finish up the solo drinks, then we move on to all the drinks together for one nice big shot. And if anything, if I could have you um, centered up with these lights whenever you're working on stuff. And then yeah, just go about your business. Don't mind me at all. We also ended up taking some bartender shots. So basically I had him make some drinks for me so I could get some action shots. Yeah, let's do another one um, with some more shaking. When you shake, I want to try and see if I can get like more motion. I'm gonna do one of those like slower shots so you can see your hands like. That's fine there. You may need to get a little dramatic with it, but go ahead. I know everyone feels some kind of way about the blurry photos nowadays, but I actually like it, especially in the right context. If you want me to make a video on how to pull this off, please let me know in the comments below. Awesome. That's good. Thank you. So I just finished up the style shoot and I let the couple go. I did some details as well, and now it's time for the actual venue showcase. Couples are gonna be showing up, checking out all the vendors here. I'm still gonna be taking photos of basically everyone and what's happening in the event itself. So I'll be passing out postcards and business cards while I'm out as well. And yeah, let's see how the rest of the night goes. So this is when things get very similar to an expo. I have couples coming up to me while I'm at my booth, checking out my work and asking me questions. Generally, what I would say while you're doing this is make sure to be as personable as possible, which is kind of common sense, but just talk to your couples about anything they want and try not to be too salesy. I know a lot of people who run up on their couples and just ask them generic questions like, hey, when are you getting married? Or, whoa, have you already found a photographer? That's cool and all, but like, if you want a better rapport with your couples, treat them like people. They clearly know that they're probably looking for a photographer and they know that you're probably gonna try to sell them on something. So what I like to do is just chat with them. I actually did end up booking a couple from this venue showcase and it was really just letting the conversation follow through normally. No pushing for sales or anything like that. Just chatting with them. And then when they had more questions about my photography approach, I gave them the answers and kind of led them down that lane. So again, don't be so scared for the sale that you feel like you have to like go out there and get it. If the couple is for you, they will grill you enough and you will know and you will book them. But being desperate for sales always leads to bad results. So we just finished up with the venue showcase. It went well, got a couple couples in. And the nicest thing about venue showcases is the fact that your leads are hot leads. These couples are trying to get into this venue. So being there, you already have a leg in. So yeah, things went well. I gave up on my whole video setup. So here I am on the iPhone because it's the old trusty, right? Packing it up and everything. And yeah, if y'all like the video, please let me know so I'll try to vlog more often because honestly, this is a lot for me. I don't like vlogging, <laughs> but I might try doing it more if you all enjoy it. So subscribe, hit that like, and I'll check y'all next time. All right, peace.